Hello student. So let us discuss about one more topic and first view that is mineral nutrition in plant physiology. So what is meant by mineral nutrition? So mineral compositions that they are present in an soil surface that is nothing but mineral nutrients. So there are different types of minerals that they are available in the soil. So where those nutrients that have been absorbed by the plant body, so where they get utilized and assimilated, that process is called as mineral nutrition. So in this chapter, we are going to discuss about some topics like minerals and its importance, essential mineral classification, minerals roles and property, absorption, translocation and metabolism of nitrogen. So here, living organisms where they have been consisting of the essential elements like macromolecules, example carbohydrates, proteins and fats and even water and minerals for growth and development. So here a mineral is a chemical element which naturally occurs as inorganic nutrients in the food and soil and they are essential for the proper functioning of the plant and even animal body. So other than carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and sulfur organic molecules. So mineral elements and so living plant or individuals ke beka giro antha essential elements. Av nayen madate plant to absorb madkondu, assimilate madkondu, but utilize kuda no madkondu. So that is for two essential for proper growth and development for the plant body. So here, so essential elements is to avashikate the plant ke anadana explain madake one experiment da. So that has been extensively used that has been developed by a scientist called as Julius von Sachs and the, so our technique is hydroponics and the karitev. hydro nothing but water so where the plants have been developed in a water media that consisting of nutrient solution so where essential elements are present in a required proportion so in Julius von Sachs who is a German botanist so that Plants could be grown in a maturity in a defined nutrient solution in the complete absence of soil. In the soil, in the nutrient solution, plants grow maado antha method in a hydroponics. So, this method involves growing plants in purified water and specific mineral nutrients, salt and even a nutritional solution in aerated for optimum growth. The concentration is determined and even adding or removing the mineral solution identify the essential elements and deficiency so hydroponics ano antha method na ya tara follow martare anta illond photocopy da so on the specific tray olgada it consisting of nutrient solution along with an enriched media so where the plants are grown adalli roots galu ya tara grow agida nutrients ning absorb maadkonatte anta torisidare so excess of water, there is excess of solution, it has been completely drained. Most of all, this technique it has been extensively used to grow and uh, vegetable crops nowadays. So here, this is a technique where the plants are grown by the help of an hydroponics. That is a commercial production of vegetables such as tomato, seedless cucumber and lettuce are extensively used nowadays. So here. Criteria for essentiality of minerals. So, minerals in the plant is to be there. essentiality in the So, those are the criteria which involves first the minerals present in the soil enters the plants through the roots. The criteria for essentiality of mineral elements as follows. The first one involves the element must be absolutely necessary for supporting normal growth and development in the absence of element the plant do not complete their life cycle and set the seeds so on the particular element of plant to growth and development is essential our nutrients bit to plant to complete life cycle to in the absence of those nutrients the plant cannot show complete its life cycle so we next step the requirement of element must be specific and not be replaced by another element. So one the nutrient to one the property function na plant can induce madhra, it cannot be replaced by another bare element and replace madhra. So in other words, deficiency of any one element cannot be 
met by supplying some other element. Hika one the nutrient in the ago on the deficiency, bearing nutrients na supply madad, other in the takeover aga agala. The element must be directly involved in the metabolism of an plant. So most of all the elements that they are necessary for total functioning of metabolic process in a plant body. So here, based on the quantity requirement by the plants, the nutrients were classified into two types. That is a macronutrients and micronutrients. So plants again nutrients is to have a other basis mala yero to type classification marthivi. That is a micro and macro. Name itself suggesting that the nutrients that they are required in a specific ratios. So first one, there is a macronutrient, large amount in plants. These are the nutrients that they are required for the plant body in a larger amount. That is an excess of 10 millimole per kg of dry matter of a plant body. So for that, the example for a macronutrient, it involves carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium, calcium and magnesium. So along with this, carbon dioxide and water and soil is required. So micronutrients, so these are required in a trace amount. It is less amount to plant. So that they are less than 10 millimole per kg of dry matter. So for this example, iron, manganese, copper, molybdenum, zinc, boron, chlorine and nickel. So higher plants, they are also involved some of the mineral elements like sodium, silicon, cobalt and selenium. So classification of elements based on function. So here the elements are classified based upon their diversification of functions that they are involved in a plant body. So in that first one, there is a structural element. So these are the elements that they are the components of biomolecules which involves like a carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and nucleic acid. Structural elements are the one for example, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. So, if you have the biomolecules in the formation, you have a major role in the formation. So, they are the structural elements for the components of biomolecules. So, energy related chemical compounds. Some of the elements they are also helpful for energy related compounds, that is, to synthesize an energy rich compound like ATP. So they provide the energy to plants, example magnesium in chlorophyll and phosphorus in an ATP formation. So elements activate and inhibit enzymes. So kelvandu elements, so enzymes in activity na jasti kuda maad poodhu, kelvandu kammi andre inhibit kuda na stop kuda no maad poodhu. So ngage activates and inhibits the elements which activates and inhibits enzymes during metabolism. When the chemical reaction is done, the elements are inhibit the process could no involve. So for this example, so that is an magnesium. So, so classification of elements based on functionally. So next one. So enzymes activity na then activate activate marbodu atva inhibit marbodu and the head. So either magnesium it acts like an activator of ribisco which is called as ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase and even phosphenol pyruvate which is called as PEP carboxylase photosynthetic carbon fixation. Another element like zinc is an activator of alcohol dehydrogenase and MO which is called molybdenum of nitrogenase so where it is involved in a nitrogen metabolism. So fourth one there is an element altering the water potential. So here osmotic potential of cell it get altered by the help of elements. So other leave major agi adundre potassium. So it is helpful for the opening and closing of stomata. And even it is helpful for regulating the water potential. So plants in a cell cell water potential are regulate madake the stomata opening the closing mechanism gain wall madake help madodu. There is an potassium. So here, these are the given uh, macro and micromolecules. So where the regions in the plant they are, are required and the functions and deficiency symptoms are in the So first one, nitrogen. So these are required where throughout the plant body. So they are essential particularly for a meristematic tissue. This is major for the plant body. Meristematic tissues. Let me go through the meristematic tissue. They are helpful for 
growth of a plant body by a rapid cell division called as mitosis. Plant grow and help meristematic tissues. So, nitrogen is essential in large quantity. So, these are the major constituents of protein, nucleic acids, vitamins and even hormones. So, what is the nitrogen composition of plant deficiency? And the plant is showing It was showing some of the deficiency symptoms like chlorosis. Chlorosis is nothing but yellowing of leaf. Chlorophyll content is yellow color. Turn up the other leaf. Stunted growth. So, growth plant they are not showing specific growth. Chikada give you on to do. Dormancy of lateral birds. Lateral birds so sariagi development agala. Late flowering. Purple coloration of shoot axis. Wrinkled grains. And inhibition of mitosis. Cell division koda no nitrogen is sarik sekilandre. Plantal cell division koda no kamiagata. So, next element there is a phosphorus. It has been absorbed in the form of phosphate ions. Phosphate ions formally plant in absorbed. So these are the regions where it requires there is an anger tissues. So the anger tissues withdrawn from older metabolically less active cell. Older regions in the anger regions can e phosphorus metabolize and transfer. So the functions of phosphorus that is essential for plant body which involves the constituent of cell membrane. So we know that the cell membrane it has been made up of an biphospholipid layer and the major constituent of an uh, membrane that is a cell membrane is phosphorus so it is essential for the constituent of cell membrane and even certain proteins all nucleic acid and nucleotides needed for all the phosphorylation reaction. So we know that phosphorylation nothing but that is an synthesis of ATP for the formation of ATP for adenine triphosphate that is a phosphate must be added so deficiency symptoms phosphorus and other deficiency other deficient age plant apply other so it was showing the symptoms like delay in the germination of seeds purple spots on leaves dark green leaves premature fall of leaf and even a flower bud so next one potassium so potassium where it is essential for buds leaves and root tips and it is also essential for the meristematic tissues so here the main function of the potassium so it is helpful for the maintenance of an anion and cation balance so plant bodily ionic balance gedu help madatte so a mechanism in cells like protein synthesis opening and closing of stomata so it is also regulated by potassium itself and even turgidity of the cell so next one, the deficiency of potassium, it was leading to an chlorosis in intervenal areas. And the veins gadu, e madhya, plants ali veins and the naveng karite adhu gadu madhya yana gata, yellow patches gadu appearance akta ho gata. So next one, that is an shorter internodes, dieback, loss of apical dominance, loss of cambial activity. So if the cambial activity was diminishes, they are plant, they are not showing specific secondary growth. So disintegration of plastids, plastids is essential for the formation of chloroplast and increased rate of respiration, loss of apical dominance. These are the deficiency symptoms of for potassium. So next one, calcium. So here it is essential for meristematic tissue. You could have meristematic tissues get them by essential. So he, this is a major constituent for the formation of spindle fibers that is released during a mitosis that is called cell division cell division time ali chromosomes ke arrange aga koskara spindle fibers and the produce agata a spindle fibers formation agbe kondra it is required element called as calcium so the function of an calcium it was involved in the normal functioning of an cell so cell in a normal functioning help agata so next one it is control the metabolic activities and even the synthesis of cell wall so here the cell wall where it consisting of a middle lamella it has been deposited with a calcium compound called calcium pectate that was providing a rigidity for a cell wall so here the deficiency symptom of calcium it was resulting in necrosis necrosis nothing but the sudden death of a plant body and a stunted growth so the next element that is called as magnesium so here it is essential for leaves it is withdrawn from the aging leaves and transported to the developing seeds. 
The main function of an magnesium, it involves, it is a constituent of an porphyrin, there is a ring structure of chlorophyll, chlorophyll ke magnesium essential agi beku. Structure of ribosomes is maintained by this magnesium itself. It acts like an activator of enzymes in respiration. Respiration matte photosynthesis alli, enzymes alli in involve agartha, enzymes in activity na increase maadakke, magnesium in avashikata either. So here the deficiency of an uh, deficiency symptom of an magnesium it involves an venial chlorosis and necrotic purple spots on the older leaves premature leaf fall that is called as formation of an abscission layer that was resulting the falling of leaf. So next one that is an sulfur. So it has been absorbed in the form of sulfate. So it is also essential for young leaf stem and even a root tip. So either the main function you know. So it is essential for the formation of amino acid. Amino acid formation maradakido bekagata, other lucistine and methionine. These are the amino acid containing the sulfur constituent of paradoxin, protein, and even a vitamins. So deficiency symptoms of this sulfur it involves chlorosis, stunted growth, and accumulation of an anthocyanin pigment, reduced nodule formation in leguminous plant. Leguminous plants only nodules in them. It is helpful for fixing the nitrogen by the help of a bacteria called rhizobium. On nodule formation, aga dene kammi mada andre sariya ki formation aga ke result mada laya vaga deficiency of sulfur result adre. And even defoliation of a tea leaves. So next one that is an iron. So here throughout the plant body it requires, particularly found along the leaves veins. The main function of iron. It involves a con it is a constituent of electron acceptors like ferroxin protein and cytochrome complex. So electron acceptor maduaga idu essential agi And interconversion. So even the chlorophyll formation and catalyzes the activator. So the deficiency of an iron it involves an chlorosis, a typical symptom of an iron deficiency. So next one that is a manganese. So main function it uh, requires for a uh, found in seeds and even uh, leaves. So where the main function of manganese that involves an activation of carboxylase, carboxylase enzyme activity ke, and even photolysis of water. So photosynthesis henocyclic reactions and the non-cyclic uh, phosphorylation and the ve. So otherly water split ag beku. oxygen evolution ge hydrogen electron kalu rebellate ag ke adskara. Idu essential agi beka gata. So it was involved in photolysis of water. So the deficiency symptoms it involves chlorosis and development of grey spots on leaves of oat plants. Another one zinc. So it is also required throughout the plant body. The main function of zinc it involves activation of carboxylase and even it is essential for the synthesis of an growth promoting hormone called as auxines. It is also a part of carbonic anhydrase that is an enzyme and various dehydrogenases. So next one, the deficiency of an zinc. It involves an chlorosis, intervinal, deformed leaves and stunted growth, leaf rosettes are formed. So next one, though, copper. So copper could have no plant body get throughout beka gatta. Throughout the plant body it is required. So the main function in a copper dhandra, it controls overall metabolism. So, all metabolism process in reactions are the plant is essential So, it acts like an activator of enzymes involved in redox reaction. Redox reaction is the So, next, it is even helpful for the interconversion process. So, the deficiency of an copper, it was resulting necrosis of tips of angles, the back of shoots. So next one that is an boron. So boron it is also a need for an seeds and even leaves. Seeds ke matte leaf ke idu beka gatte. So the main function in a paithrudhundra uptake and utilization of calcium membrane function and pollen grain germination, cell elongation, differentiation and carbohydrate translocation. It is to go idu essential aki beka So next one though the deficiency it was resulting the death of the root and shoot tips, loss of apical dominance, abscission of flower, small sized fruits, non-development of root nodules in leguminous plant, 
brown heart disease of cauliflower and stunted growth so next new element that is an molybdenum so e molybdenum plant body ke throat bekagutte and even for particularly in the roots so this is a constituent of a nitrogenous and nitrate reductase enzymes so the deficiency it was leading to an retardation of growth and intervenal chlorosis so the next one that is a chlorine so where it is also required for throughout the plant body it, it determines the solute concentration and anion cation balance it uh, controls the electrical neutrality and even for cell division of an leaves and roots and even for photolysis of water major role in an photolysis of water it has been took over by the chlorine so idru the deficiency in result agutte andre stunted root growth wilting leaf and even reduce the fruiting so toxicity of mineral micronutrients so mineral nutrients so plant ge kammi aadaga deficiency symptoms kalna torusutte ade jaasti aadaga it was resulting in toxicity anta karithivi so next one that is an toxicity of micronutrients so plant ge nutrients so jaasti pramanadalli sikkaga it was resulting in toxicity anta karithivi so micronutrients low amounts so decrease deficiency moderate increases toxicity any mineral ion concentration in the tissue that reduces the dry weight of the tissue by about 10% is considered as a toxicity so plant in a productivity li 10% reduce aitu andre adanna naavu toxicity result agide a plant ge anta helbodu critical concentration varies and toxicity levels varies in different plants the excess micronutrients it was resulting in toxicity example manganese toxicity so here manganese toxicity it was resulting in brown spots around chlorotic vein so il vandu healthy plant veins itidivi andre leaf appearance torusidivi inondu manganese toxicity kuda no appearance torusutave so the mode of toxicity so ya rithi toxicity affect agutte andre so manganese competes with the iron and magnesium so for the uptake magnesium for binding with enzymes inhibits the calcium translocation in shoot up eggs so manganese toxicity aadre iron matte magnesium ina uptake kuda no very sago chances irutte so where it was resulting excess of manganese induces deficiency of iron manganese and even an magnesium and calcium so absorption of elements so here the essential elements that has been present in an soil where it has been absorbed by the root hairs through the epidermal cells and it has been transported into each and every cells of a plant body so it has been accompanied by the help of two phases so plants so two phases alli nutrients na absorb madkonatte so transport in plants alli na two process odidivi that is anseplast matte apoplast anta ade mechanism na navillu kuda heltidive that is an first phase and second phase the first phase it involves the rapid ions uptake and a free in a free surface or outer surface where it involves an apoplast and the first phase alli plant apoplast mulka nutrients elements na absorb madkon transportationally involve madkonatte so it was usually passive because it was not need any expenditure of energy so it occurs through the ion channels and transmembrane proteins which functions as a selective pores so another one that is a second phase it is involves ions are taken slowly inner space the, through the symplast so for symplast the elements must be transported through the plasmodesmatal channel cell membrane galna that hoguvaga it needs an expenditure of energy so entry and exits of ion require a metabolic energy so here inward movement of elements that is called as influx and outward movement it is called as a efflux translocation of solute translocation andre gotide namge so the movement of molecules ions water molecules through a longer distance in the plant body is called as translocation so ile translocation of solutes bage helthideve now so it occurs through the xylem along with the ascending stream of the water which is pulled up through the plant by transpiration pull so for the translocation of solute the transpiration pull it plays a major role so xylem sap and even a mineral salts so soil ig essential elements namge elli sigutte antandre naavu soil anta helidvi 
ಸೊ ಬರೀ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಲೇ ಕರಿತಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸೊ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೆದರಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ರಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ಎನ್ರಿಚ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಸಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರಾಕ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಅ ಮಿನರಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ಅದರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಬರ್ಸ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಯಿಲಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ನಾವು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೂ ಏನು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾಸ್ಗಳು ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವೇನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅವು ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಟು ದ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲೈಸಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಪರ್ ನೀಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಗೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಯಿತು ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲಿಟಿ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮೆಟಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೆಟಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ನಡಿಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಅನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಜರ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಓದಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೈನೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಅ ವಿಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಮೆಟಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಎರಡು ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಇಂದ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬಾಡಿಗೆ ಈ ಥರ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ನಡೀತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಎ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏರ್ ಟು ಸಾಯಿಲ್ to organism and back to air or soil involving principally the nitrogen fixation nitrification decay and denitrification the process of nitrogen cycle so nitrogen cycle alli alli four steps kalna helta hogtivi that is nitrogen fixation ammonification nitrification matte denitrification anta so first one nitrogen fixation so the process of conversion of nitrogen into ammonia anodana now nitrogen fixation anta karithide so lightning ultraviolet radiation converts the free nitrogen into nitrogen oxides so lightning agirbodu uv radiation in the atmosphere alli en free nitrogen irutte adu nitrogen oxides age convert agutte so industrial combustions forest fires automobile exhaust and power generating stations they are also the source of atmospheric nitrogen oxides so nitrogen oxides converted into ammonia so in nitrogen oxides irutte avella enagi convert aitu ammonia agi convert aitu so that is called as nitrogen fixation so in the ammonification the process of decomposition of organic nitrogen of plant and animals into ammonia so this is called as an ammonification so ammonia volatilizes and re-enters the atmosphere but most of it converted into nitrate so next one nitrification so ammonia is oxidized to nitrate nitrite by the bacteria is called as nitroso nitrosomonas and nitrococcus so ili ammonia nitrite age convert agutte oxidize agutte yav microbe inda andre nitrosomonas inda ee questions galna keltare so the nitrite is further oxidized to nitrate ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಇದ್ದು ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ
ಸೊ ಆ ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬೈ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಆ ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ನ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ದೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಡಿಕಂಪೋಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಮೋನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಅಮೋನಿಯಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ನು ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿರಿಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗೋ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಹೆಂಗಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಮೂಲಕ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಮೂಲಕ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗುವಂಥ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸೊ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಟು ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಬೈ ದ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ಟೈನ್ ಪ್ರೋ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿನ್ ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜಿನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಫ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಏರೋಬಿಕ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸಿಟೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯ ಬೈ ಜರ್ನಿಕಿಯ ಆನರೋಬಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ರೋಡೋಸ್ಪೈರುಲಮ್ ಸೈನೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೋಸ್ಟೋಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾನಾಬ್ಯಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಲಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮ್ಯೂಚುಲಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಗುವಂಥ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬಾಡೀಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಲೆಗಮಿನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟು ರೈಸೋಬಿಯಮ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರೆ ನಾನ್ ಲೆಗಮಿನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇರೋ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ ಯಾವ ಫ್ರಾಂಕಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಫೋಟೋ ಕಾಪಿಲಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಲೆಗಮಿನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ರೂಟ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಲೆಗ್ಯೂಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ರೈಸೋಬಿಯಮ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಟ್ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ದ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ ಸರ್ಟಲ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿಂಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ಸೊ ಆ ರೂಟ್ನ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಫೋಟೋ ಕಾಪಿಲಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಧ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಪಿಂಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಲೆಗ್ಯುಮಿನಸ್ ಹಿಮೋಗ್ಲೋಬಿನ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಹಿಮೋಗ್ಲೋಬಿನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ ಫ್ರಾಂಕಿಯಾ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಲೆಗ್ಯುಮಿನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ರೈಸೋಬಿಯಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಂಕಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಂಬಯೋನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಯಾವ ಥರ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಫೋಟೋ ಕಾಪಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ರೈಸೋಬಿಯಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ದಟ್ ದಾರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನಿಯರ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ ಹೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಲೋನೀಸ್ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ಅ ರೂಟ್ ಹೇರ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಸ್ಪೈರಲಿ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳತ್ತೆ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಪೆನೆಟ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಎಪಿಡರ್ಮಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್
hydro nothing but water so where the plants are grown in a nutrient solution that is uh, instead of growing a plant in a soil julius von sachs who developed this technique so the given option a that is a macronutrient culture medium b water c solution of mineral nutrient d soil so for this the correct option here hydroponics is a technique where the plants are grown in a nutrient solution so the correct option for this is c so it is a technique of growing plants with their roots immersed in a nutrient solution so next question that is a uh, select the incorrect statement with respect to criteria of essentiality of mineral elements so mineral elements the criteria criteria nodidebe adralli ee kottiro antha statement illi yadu incorrect statement anta naavu select madbekagutte first one element must be necessary for normal growth and reproduction avudu so plants alli elements galu grow normal growth reproduction no development elladakku bekagutte element must be replaced by another element so ee statement alli naavu on sölpa nodbekagutte so element must cannot one particular element cannot be replaced by another anta odidivi but ille en kottidare replaceable by another element anta kottidara so hangagi b alli incorrect statement agutte so next option nodona disorders caused by the absence or deficiency of element can be corrected only by adding that specific element avud akasmat yadaro nutrients deficiency aitu andre aa nutrients na matte supply madidre plant ge matte plant specific age grow na torusutte so element must be directly involved in plant metabolism that is also a correct statement so the incorrect statement of the in here in this question that is an b so criteria elements must be replaced by another element a wrong statement agodrinda correct option ile b agutte criteria for essentiality say that the element must not be replaced by another element and it must be indispensable and should have a demonstrable function so select the odd one out from the following with respect to macronutrient so illi kottirodralli macronutrient respect aagi bere edu yadana odd one aagi out maartira andre tegitira so first option that is a nitrogen phosphorus iron sulfur so here nitrogen phosphorus sulfur so these are the macronutrients but the given micronutrients that is called as an iron so the correct option for this question is c iron so plants which are deficient in zinc will show reduction in the biosynthesis of plant alli zinc enadu deficiency aadre so given option ethylene b coenzyme a c ferredoxin d oxine so gottiro prakara main function of zinc kuda no specific agi ond growth promoter na initiate madutte that is called as an oxines anta gottida so ang mela deficiency le enagutte oxine promoting kammi aagabodu so angagi correct option equations ke enagutte that is an oxine d zinc is used for oxan and tryptophan synthesis so next which of the following groups of elements are mobile so andre older plant older regions in the younger regions ge yava elements galu transfer agutte senescence time alli anadu so option n p k for a b c a m g s so for c there is a calcium sulfur iron d ge calcium nitrogen and phosphorus so here the correct option there is a main nutrients there is a macronutrients that thing but n p and k so these are the elements that are mobile in nature so the correct option for fifth is a n p k are mobile elements that they are translocated to younger tissues sixth question the anion cation balance in the plant cell is due to essential element like so cation matte anion balance and ionic balance madakke ee elements alli yavu essential agide so option a potassium b calcium c sodium d iron so among this the first one is that is an potassium it play a major role in a anion and cation balance so the correct option idakke a potassium agutte so higu bere that is also helpful for osmotic balance bere elements kulu osmotic balance ke help madutte seventh question all the elements whose deficiency symptom first appear in the older tissues except so idr olagade andre ella elements whose deficiency symptoms first appear in the older tissues anta thagondre except first one a nitrogen b calcium c potassium d magnesium 
ಸೊ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇನ್ ಮಂತ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬರೋದು ಯಾವುದು ಅಂದರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಸೊ ಈ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಡೆಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಂಗರ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಮೆಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಅವರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಡೆಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೆಟಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜಿನೇಸ್ ಎನ್ಸಾಮ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅವು ಯಾವ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಕೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಬಿ ಮಾಲಿಬ್ಡಿನಮ್ ಸಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಡಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗನೀಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಗ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಎಮ್ ಒ ಎಫ್ ಇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಾಲಿಬ್ಡಿನಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐರನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವುದು ಮಾಲಿಬ್ಡಿನಮ್ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವುದಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬಿ ಮಾಲಿಬ್ಡಿನಮ್ ಐರನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಸಬ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜಿನೇಸ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಅನದರ್ ಬೊರಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ಬೊರಾನ್ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಗೆ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಲೇ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋರಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಬಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋಹೈಡ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಫ್ಲೋಯಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೆಟಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟರೊಳಗಡೆ ಮೇನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನು ಬರೋ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ನು ಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋಹೈಡ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಫ್ಲೋಯಮ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಟೆಂತ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ಗೆ ಏನಂತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಈಗ ನೋಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನೋಡ ಅಮೋನಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಬಿ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ಡಿ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸಿನ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಸುಡೋಮೋನೋಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಜಿಟೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಹೌದಾ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೋನಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನನಗೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆಂತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎರೋಬಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಪ್ರೋಟ್ರೋಫಿಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಟೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರೋಡೋಸ್ಪೈರೋಲಮ್ ರೈಸೋಬಿಯಮ್ ಅನಬೆನ ಸೊ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ಆ್ಯಸಿಟೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೀ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಯಾಪ್ರೋಫೈಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆರೋಬಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಇದು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ಗೆ ಎ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಾನ್ ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೋ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯೋಟ್ ಇದರೊಳಗಡೆ ನಾನ್ ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮ್ಯೂಚುಲಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನ್ ಸಿಂಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೋ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯೋಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊ
so here they are called as an oxygen scavengers so the option here leg hemoglobin is used to protect the nitrogenase from oxygen oxygen is a strong electron acceptors therefore the harmful for nitrogenase so the correct option for 15 question is d to protect nitrogenase from oxygen so last question which of the following is an amide involved in nitrogen metabolism by plants so plant alli nitrogen metabolism alli involve agiru amide yavudu so first one glutamate cystin serine aspartic so here the correct option for this is d aspartic and even a glutamine is an amino acid involved in an nitrogen metabolism by the plant body so these are about mcqs in this chapter student so okay thank you